The Robotics Innovation Center started in 2006 with the clear focus on two main aspects of robotics and AI, on space robotics and underwater robotics. So the main goal for the Robotics Innovation Center is to actually enable robotic systems to be competent in real-world environments. Usually in order to cope with real-world environments, they have a very complex kinematic structure, so they have legs and arms and fingers maybe, and you need to control all these. But on top of that, we also want these robots to be able to perceive the environment, so the recognition of objects, people and so forth, and of course on the higher level to actually be able to also plan tasks and plan actions in order to be successful or to be competent uh, in achieving their goals in, uh, within this environment. For space robotics we are using uh, various AI methods, so for orbital robotics for example we are using manipulators for in orbit servicing or um, performing different tasks. One of our main goal is to achieve uh, autonomous behavior of these systems in orbital robotics as well as for planetary exploration. Uh, that means also for driving or walking systems we have to be able to sense our environment, we have to be able to understand our environment if possible. And for this it is very important that the systems can uh, compete with hazards or errors as well as uh, human intervention is mostly not possible during these complex missions. At the Institute we have the ability to build up our own systems, meaning that we can actually build up these advanced concepts for uh, testing the capabilities. And for this it is also important to add the required software um, to use all these uh, abilities of the systems and uh, just add the right amount of intelligence to enable them to fulfill their mission needs. We are focusing on developing systems for advanced concepts. So that means that we are building them up and, and also test them in relevant environments, for example, as the desert in Utah. We believe that increasing the autonomy of robotic systems is a key feature to increase the efficiency of future missions as well as to decrease their costs and risks. We exploit the potential of uh, various locomotion types, such as wheeled rovers or legged exploration systems. We also do research on hybrid rovers that have legs and wheels in the end effector, but also wheeled legs, so that they try to combine the advantages of energy efficient wheeled locomotion as well as highly mobile legged locomotion. We also do research on multi-robot teams for applications where a single robot is simply not sufficient. This is, for instance, for repelling into a lunar skylight and also to explore the subsurface lava tubes. For human-robot collaboration, it is very important that uh, robotic systems, which is often a kind of intelligent systems, understands what uh, the humans want the systems to do or how can the human be supported. The goal is to ease interaction such that it is very natural for the human and robotic system. When we go in the field of collaboration, one can make use of robotic systems that are worn on the body. These are called exoskeletons. They're driven by motors. They also have intelligence. They have a very advanced control because they have to follow a human. Such systems can also be used to give information back to the human. So for example, when a robot hits the stone, such a system can make you feel that because you can transfer forces from the robotic system to the human body. Here at the Robotics Innovation Center, uh, we have a large underwater test basin where we usually test our systems uh, for subsea operations, but we can also use this uh, basin for gravity compensated tests of space robots and space techniques. For example, uh, when we have the interaction between a free-floating robot and a satellite or a, a rigid structure, the control algorithms can be similar. And we are able to transfer some of the knowledge that we gathered to space robotics. Other research that we conduct here uh, is uh, the research for um, using underwater robots that should uh, go to the Jupiter moon Europa and their uh, search for life. If there is life out there, it may be on the bottom of oceans. 
AI and robotics can enhance and support space travel because I think space is such an um, important but also such a dangerous and difficult environment for humans. So we are so fragile to go there, it, it takes a lot of precautions. In the future, I think we will need both. We will need these, these um, robotic explorers that can, for example, prepare sites on Moon or Mars or other celestial bodies. So for the humans to come there and to, to do what they can do best, come with their own cognition, with their intuition and with their emotions as well, um, and um, actually gather new insights. That's where artificial intelligence and robotics is, I think, uh, something that is with no doubt needed for the future of, of space travel or space exploration.